turn on your notification bell you will still get those information you are looking for a harmful attack cp visits scene of burnt trailer denies report of the truck being loaded with firearms ammunition and bandits now the commission of police in enugu state cp ahmed amani visited the scene of the attack they are talking about the burning of a truck and the unspecified number of persons at umuhu in a hamofu community of the local government area yes okay hamofu community in the usu is usual a hamofu is in the usual local government area of the state okay and so the incident happened along a hamofu in kalago road now mr mani who was the commissioner of police there dispelled in its entirety the news that the truck was loaded with firearms and ammunition and bandits he said it is not true yes he is he said the truck was loaded with uh, was carrying goose and some travelers according to him that was the revelation of the preliminary investigation they carried out or they conducted so he described the rumor as baseless misleading and an act of disinformation he said is it the rumor is capable of creating unnecessary panic and escalating the situation in the area hence he wants the creators and peddlers of such fake news to desist forthwith as they will be made to face the full wrath of the law if apprehended that's what the cp said so he continued to say look okay the cp who was at the scene for on the sport assessment and incident also okay he was joined by some persons in the force in the military in the army among the persons that joined him from the force included the garrison commander of nigerian army as a two division brigadier general mk ibrahim dcp olasoji akembayo in charge of operations dcp fidelis ogarabe in charge of the state cid enugu and other senior military and police and military officers and the chairman of his local government area so look these are the people that accompany him to the scene his colleagues in the military and the army and all. so the commission of police commiserated with the families of those who lost their lives in the heinous crime according to them and uh, other and uh, under other reported attacks in the hamofu and this evidence he said that the police with the active support and collaboration of other security agencies will leave no stone unturned in fishing out the assailants those who presented that uh, acts of attack and murder in the area so the dcp dsp daniel Ndukwe, who is, uh, who is uh, the spokesperson of the police command in enugu state was quoting him quoting the cp amani and he said the cp reassures members of the ham of community of the avowed commitment of this of the security agencies to deploy both kinetic and non-kinetic measures to decisively deal with the untoward security breaches in the area while enjoining them to remain law abiding cooperate with this joint security team and avoid acting in ways that could further breach public security and peace in the area and now the cp has according to Ndukwe, the cp has ordered the further deployment of operational and intelligence resources to the area while also ordering the state CID to thoroughly investigate the incident, harmonize ongoing investigations into other recent criminal incidents in the community and come up with actionable findings. This is police statement. The police said they have gone there, they have sent things for themselves, talking about the incident of you know where a trailer load, yes, a truck, trailer, trailer, a trailer was brought down in a hammerful so by some persons and uh, from available information there were so many casualties and now the police said look there was nothing like bandits nothing like ammunition and if you believe the, if you believe the police you are on your own you are on your the way things are happening in the south is now you still believe the police the police that have failed nigerians woefully that the people that you believe or the army that collaborates or collaborates which one so they said there's no bandits in that truck but who are we to believe trust them at your own peril the nigerian police and the army and so he's assuring the people of hamofu 
that they, 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 will, they will make sure that they secure them. And he's promising more deployment. Whereas the people are saying, take your military, take your police. By now, the Hamufu people, the government of Enugu State is supposed to collaborate with the natives to know how they will curb this crisis. By putting up a local security outfit there, that's the only way out from all indications. Let the natives fight for themselves. Let them defend themselves. It is their right to defend themselves. They can't allow themselves to be killed like chickens in the present day. You know, today this is a modern world. Don't go and invade a community and kill everyone and feel that, oh, look, because you have arms and ammunition and those people have been denied such. And so the governor of Enugu State is supposed to, you know, institutionalize or establish a local vigilant team that will comprise hunters. Hunters and, and, and other locals to fight this invasion from these uh, foreigners. Yes, that is what we're expecting. Not deployment and deployment. Police should, should, should stop this deployment because the people have said, look, you the, the personnel you have deployed, they are not helping matters. They are not helping us. Even the army, they have refused to go to the camp where the hoodlums are, are you know, where they camped. The terrorist masquerading assessment. So this is this issue is a very important one. It touches the soul of the southeast. That is why we are sounding it in this direction, in this manner. It touches to the very soul of the southeast. Anybody who is from the southeast or a Biafran who is not feeling concerned about what is happening in Hamofu, that person may be, you know, having a reverie. That person should be pitied for. That person should, you know, people should go for Mbaru for the person. Yes, the person is bereaved. Yes, people should go and sympathize and show empathy to him, anybody who is not fully concerned, because this is the soul of the Southeast we are talking about, the soul of the Biafrans. So it's an invasion of the Fulani stock into Biafra land. They are making their ways. Yes, it's an incursion, if you like, to the peaceful land of the Biafrans by this ginger weed. And so that is why all hands must be on deck. And that is why we are giving this piece of advice to government of Enugu State. Further deployment of troops into a Hamofu and its environs we have seen will not, you know, in any way curb this uh, crisis. These attacks, series of attacks, unrelenting, persistent, and sustained. So, what the government of Anugo State is supposed to do is, like I've said before, they shouldn't waste time again. Urgently set up this uh, local vigilante and see ways to forestall future occurrence. We don't want to hear a hammer for again on the news, talking about killings, maiming. The situation of life from property, life from property. We don't want to hear it again. These are human lives that have been destroyed.